Good morning, folks. The sun tried to pop some CMEs yesterday. A filament released on the northern hemisphere and went mostly up and away further north. Then we saw a couple low-level M flares on the southern hemisphere. The last of them may be relevant. We'll come back to that. Rosetta's latest. They're just days away from their comet rendezvous and they claim that the temperature of the comet's surface is negative 70 degrees Celsius, meaning that the surface is covered in dust rather than ice. Makes you wonder where all the coma material is coming from, especially when they claim the comet was bursting with water at a solid rate. Could this be the static sublimation via solar wind interaction that the Thunderbolts have so often discussed? Maybe. Antarctic ice seems to bounce back and forth between tying and breaking the daily all-time records for high surface ice levels. And while a major global warming propagandist named Ian Eisenman claims this is some kind of error, the NSIDC, NASA, and about a dozen others explain that this is no error. These are legitimate readings. Tropics Watch shows Bertha in the Caribbean. Some islands already taking a pounding with Puerto Rico, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic up next. In the far west Pacific, our spread storm to the north finally got classified as such, heads for Korea today. The second, the stronger one, still slated to trek north towards Japan, taking his time. Hawaii got to up their watch just a bit as Izale now appears right on track for the islands. Hopefully it will weaken before arrival as expected. Europe with much of the same, storms east and west with a northern shift to the heat wave, scattered and unpredictable here. Meanwhile, the convergence that moved off Australia can easily be seen here over New Zealand. At least the air is coming from the north so it shouldn't be too cold. While rain and a thunderstorm is possible across more than half of the U.S. and southern Canada today, the only real concern is for the flash flooding at the coastline here. The solar wind readings indeed show that speed ramp in yellow that we expected. This is the coronal hole stream, and it's possible that it overtook the CME that was supposed to hit today, or perhaps we're still waiting for it. Either way, the stream itself was enough to cause a bit of geomagnetic instability. More impacts could mean a low-level storm. And indeed, more may be coming beyond just the CME we expect today. You see the two low-level M flares we mentioned at the beginning of the video here. The sunspots look far more menacing than they actually are this morning, although perhaps I should save that comment when it comes to the northern incoming active region until we get a better look. But as of these early morning hours, most of the magnetic complexity had left the southern groups. We saw a couple deltas yesterday, but after the solar flares, it appears that the magnetics are much, much calmer. They may try to re-complex today, and we'll keep watching. And if anything, there's some minor mixing at the far trailing group. Let's try to diagnose those solar flares in terms of potential Earth impact, but first, let's note one of the planetary alignments we've discussed is about to be visible on SOHO. That's Jupiter leaving, heading right, and Mercury coming in. Mercury looks big because it's way, way closer. But as the filament sails north, you should be able to see a faint halo eruption. That was from the second M flare and indicates that Earth impact is highly expected. The cloud is sparse, so there's no cause for concern, but noticing the halo is paramount for such diagnoses, and if you can spot this, there's nothing you can't diagnose on your own. For those that are new to this stuff, this is a quasi uptick in solar activity. And as exciting as it is to have some flares, these are low level M range. And even low level X class flares are nothing to be afraid of. Below the video, you'll find links to a number of playlists that will get you caught up on these things in no time, along with other information necessary to empower your own searches into these topics. Eyes open, no fear at 6.30 AM Eastern time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.